okay so to, in today's video i will be discussing about body center cubic lattice in body center cubic structure we have the unit cell of the following kind the unit cell of bcc structure is that we have atoms situated at the eight corner of a cube and at right at the center of the cube so in addition to the corner atoms we have one uh, atom which is at the center of the cube this is bcc structure our body centered cubic structure so if you want to calculate the number of atoms number of effective atoms in bcc unit cell that would be so eight corner atoms and each corner atom contributes one eighth of its volume plus one right at the center so in total there are two atoms uh, per unit cell in bcc the next thing we'll discuss is relation between r and a Re uh, relation between r and a what is r what is a a is the edge of the cube and r is the radius of the atom so if we focus our attention to the body diagonal suppose this is my body diagonal here and this is the one phase the cube, one end of the cube and one and the other end is two this is the body diagonal so right at the center there is an atom and there are two atoms at the corner should be touching this and like this so all three three are of same size although they appear to be different in my drawing but they are essentially of same size so if this is uh, 2 or this will be r and this is r radius so if a is the edge of the q as we just stated so the length of the body diagonal is root 3a which has to be equal to 4r it means r is root 3a by 4 okay and this is what we get as relation between r and a all right so next thing we'll discuss is the distance from the nearest neighbor Uh, if we focus our attention to the center atom so let me draw the cube again and let me depict the atom with different color uh, let's say this time by through the color this to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and at the center so if we focus our attention to the centered atom which i uh, let's say colored with red color so then these eight corner atoms all of these eight corner atoms are situated at same distance which is equal to root 3a by 2 half of the body length of the body diagonal no other atom is closer to the reference atom o than these eight atoms okay so the distance from the nearest neighbor turns out to be the root 3a by 2 half length of the body diagonal uh the fourth thing you would like to find out is that uh, how many such nearest neighbors exist hmm? so number of nearest neighbors or if you wish you can call it number of first nearest neighbors because we are going to calculate number of second nearest neighbors and third nearest neighbors, neighbors as well the number of uh, first nearest neighbor uh, is nothing but we have just counted that all the corner atoms are situated at the same distance root 3a by 2 so there are eight corner at zero cube so number of nearest neighbor turns out to be 8 okay if you wish we can uh, see it mathematically also that the if we take our origin uh, to be present at the body centered atom so if this is my origin 0 0 0 and the coordinate of uh, let's say this particular atom uh, would be a by 2 a by 2 a by 
right if i choose my this to be positive x axis and positive y axis is inside the uh, paper perpendicular inside the paper and positive z, uh, z axis would be this then okay so by this convention if i choose so i get a by 2 a by 2 a by 2 of this p atom the coordinate of this p atom and op is of course root 3 a by 2 and uh, the coordinates of p is a by 2 a by 2 a by 2 similarly we can find other coordinates uh, as well the coordinates of other atoms as well which will be minus a by 2 a by 2 a by 2 a by 2 minus a by 2 a by 2 a by 2 a by 2 minus a by 2 minus a by 2 minus a by 2 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 minus a by 2 and minus a by 2 minus a by 2 minus a by 2 so these eight uh, atoms will be situated at root 3 by 2 distance and will be called as nearest neighbors to the atom which is present right at the center of the body type, body or that the cube itself okay so now uh, let's move to the other thing which is uh, the distance from second nearest neighbor So distance from second nearest neighbor um, will turn out to be if I draw my cube again I will like to see the atom which is situated uh, which can be called as second nearest neighbor. So these are eight atoms at the corners one at the center and uh, I have the adjacent cube as well because this structure has to be repeated in three dimension the unit cell has to be repeated in three dimension to obtain the entire lattice or the crystal. So that's what we have so if i if we concentrate our attention to the our centered atom of the cube one o then uh, this particular atom which I, I marked as p then this o p here is is equal to a because uh, i have to travel a by two distance in the first cube and the a by two in the second to reach the um, the atom uh, which is present at the center of the cube of the second cube center of the second cube so the distance total op becomes a and uh, in our convention of the x-axis that we have, uh, choose this positive x-axis and this to be positive z-axis and positive y-axis inside the uh, plane of the paper perpendicular the coordinate of p becomes a comma zero comma zero okay and if we uh, go to the any other atom other than the p for example this q atom this r atom or s so all these distances o r o q s will be greater than a hmm? so the p turns out to be the second nearest neighbor and the distance comes out to be a all right so let's go to the uh, next thing which is the number of second nearest so number of second nearest neighbors will be uh, so the coordinate we have taken to be one nearest neighbor the second nearest neighbor is a 0 0 the other would be 0 a 0 0 0 a minus a 0 0 0 minus a 0 and 0 0 minus a so the total number turns out to be 6 so all these atoms will be at the same distance which is equal to a from o and uh, they will be 6 in number now the next thing we we'll see is the distance from third nearest neighbor okay so distance from third nearest neighbor if we check out the third nearest neighbor if we check out the third nearest neighbor then if i darken the um, 
body centered atoms uh, in these three cubes that I have just drawn. So, if I uh, take my reference atom same as O and this was P and let us say this is Q. So, if I find out the distance between OQ, OQ. So, in our convention of the axis, positive x axis, positive y axis and positive y axis is inside the plane perpendicular. Okay, then uh, uh, the coordinates of Q will, will be A, comma, um, 0, comma, comma, A. So, the coordinates of Q would be A, comma, 0, comma, A. So, Q turns out to be root 2A by the Pythagoras theorem. This is A and this is A. So, the OQ will turn out to be root 2A. So, this uh, this is the second uh, distance from the second nearest neighbor uh, uh, with respect to the atom O. Because if we choose any other atom, let's say in comparison uh, to this distance OQ, the distances from the other atoms will be greater than OQ. If I choose, for example, I want to find out the distance between this atom which has more or less say T, so OT will be greater than OQ. Mm -hmm. Similarly, uh, this T prime will be uh, OT prime will be greater than OQ. Mm -hmm. OT will be greater than OQ, OT prime will be greater than OQ and so and so forth. So the second nearest neighbor, if you uh, try to find out, it turns out to be the, uh, the uh, atom Q. And similarly, other atoms, other would be uh, situated somewhere down in here, let's say Q prime, and other will be uh, in the other direction, which we'll find out mathematically because it is difficult to draw all these atoms in this two dimensional picture. So, we'll take the help of mathematics. The, the coordinates of Q is next question, of course, we'd like to answer is the eighth question that we'd like to answer is number of uh, third nearest neighbor. So the coordinates of Q is coordinates of Q is a zero a. So if you find out so the number, of, if you find out the number of third nearest neighbors, so it will be minus a zero a uh, zero minus a a zero a minus a zero a a a a zero. Oh minus a uh, 0 minus a minus a z minus a minus a minus a minus a 0 0 minus a minus a right so and again is a 0 minus a a minus a 0 minus a a zero these are the total 12 now so number of third nearest neighbor in bcc is equal to 12 okay okay so now next thing we like to see is the volume of unit cell volume of unit cell is nothing but a cube if a is the as of the cube then uh, of course the volume is nothing but a cube now the next thing is volume of primitive cell so there are Two atoms in the unit cell, factor number of atoms is 2 in the unit cell of BCC. The volume of primitive cell, so volume of the primitive cell will be A cube by 2 because uh, uh, the primitive cell contains effectively only one number of lattice point. So there has to be uh, the volume of the unit has, uh, primitive cell has to be A cube by 2 so that it contains only one effective number of atoms. The, Last thing we would like to see is the atomic packing fraction APF, which is known as atomic packing fraction. Hmm. 
BCC. So that uh, that is the number of reactive atoms in unit cell multiplied by the volume of one atom divided by the total volume of the unit cell, which is uh, turns out to be eight pi by three r by a whole cube. So we have just seen uh, the relation between r and a. So relation between r and a was r equal to root three a by four. So r by a would be root three by four. So r by a is nothing but root three by four. If I place this value here, so this will become three root three and sixty four, which is equal to pi by eight root three, which is equal to sixty seven point nine or almost equal to sixty eight percent. So the cube uh, is sixty eight percent filled. Mm, the unit cell, which is of cubic shape, that is sixty eight percent filled in. Uh, BCC rest is empty space. So that's what uh, we had to discuss about BCC structure in today's video. Uh, see you next. Thank you so much for watching.